camera, we have the physical camera, still shutter speed, depending on your scene, if it's gonna be a one sunny 16 rule with an f-stop of 16, shutter speed of 125, film speed of 100, that's a good place to start. Exposure is on. If you don't turn exposure on, these values will be completely irrelevant. So you do wanna make sure that if we are following that physical camera, and the physical light and the physical rules, we wanna make sure exposure is on. The white balance is important too. For the white balance, it's always good to leave it pure white. If you don't, basically whatever color is picked in this box, it will make that color a white color. So let's say if you have a blue tinted rendering and you want everything to be white, you could theoretically go into the white balance, select that same blue hue, and all that blue will turn into white. However, that means all the other colors are shifting too. It's not just the blue to white, but everything else is shifting. So the reds could turn up a different kind of red or the greens could go to a different kind of green. Everything would shift. So to keep things neutral and leave all the color correction for post-processing in Photoshop, I recommend to leave the white balance pure white, which is essentially a neutral color. But if you're in a bind or you don't have a whole lot of time and you gotta get a rendering out and it's got some weird tint, you can always go in the white balance and put the color that your render is tinted in and render it and out the door it goes. But it's good to just understand how that works. Depth of field, it's off, we'll leave that for now. Okay, motion blur. So that's a summary of the camera. Environment, we're gonna use the V-Ray sunlight system and the V-Ray skylight system. These have to be on. These are specific V-Ray sunlight settings that we create and we'll create a daylight system to start. So this will be a separate light that we include in this scenario. 